here we are, the Crystal Kingdom of Sniffelheim, home to the famous Blue Orb. Ah, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. Hmm. That must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> What's this? What the? The gates are covered in ice! Look, they're frozen shut! How strange! Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. Just like what happened to the gates. This doesn't seem natural at all. This may be the Crystal Kingdom, but it shouldn't be frozen solid, cold winter or no. We'd better take a look around. Block of ice. Can you tell us what happened here? Hmm. Well, it all began three months ago. It was a bright, sunny day 
just like any other, when suddenly a strange shadow filled the sky. It was a witch. <gasps> a witch? My goodness! That sounds like something from a fairy tale. Just so. She chanted an ancient incantation. And just like that, the town was engulfed in a ferocious snowstorm. The wind took my breath clean away, and before I knew it, I had fainted. And when I awoke, all was frozen. I was the only one spared. She must be a pretty powerful witch to freeze this whole city with a single spell. I wish I could help, but all this ice is more than my magic can melt. Hmm. By the way, Missy, that symbol in your shawl, is that not... Oh, forgive me. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Frisabel, Queen of Sniffelheim. You're the Queen? So, does that mean the old king is...? I'm afraid so. My father passed away last year. Oh, I've only been in charge these few months, and just look at my kingdom. Whatever am I going to do? It looks like Sniffelheim's in a bit of a sticky situation. I suppose now isn't a good time to ask about the orb. An orb? What kind of orb? Why, the big blue ball that's been handed down in your family for generations, Lassie. The truth be told, we need to borrow it. <gasps> oh, oh, of course. You would be welcome to borrow it, but I'm afraid it is locked up tight inside the castle, which is locked up tight inside the ice. Well, that's just perfect. So if we don't find a way to melt that ice, we'll never get our hands on the orb. Hmm. Maybe if we got rid of that wicked witch, it might break her spell. I thought just the same thing. Why, only a few days ago, a band of soldiers from a faraway land came here to investigate what was happening. I sent them out to try and find the witch and fight her, but I haven't seen them since. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Let's go and give those soldiers a hand and bring spring back to Sniffelheim, shall we? Oh, thank you, thank you. The Wicked Witch dwells in the Hexwood, a haunted forest far to the north of the Snearfelt Steppe. Be very, very wary, for the Witch does not live in the woods alone. She keeps a fierce, magical beast to guard against intruders. Aye, we'll be sure to keep an eye out. Thanks for the warning, Lassie. Aye, right, come on, boys and girls. Let's head over to the Hexwood.
served your mistress well, but your day is done. <laughs> now it is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Hendrik. Is this your doing? Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. <laughs> what a lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces and no. all. What? Oh. More questions. You so-called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice. Forever. Not if I have anything to do with it! Are you all right? 
well now. Sir Hendrik. You'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about. The ones Queen Frisabel sent. <sighs> Leaving so soon? Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail? Oh, I will. All in good time. Freezing cold. That spell must have really taken its toll. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. So you are finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Ah. Uh. Ah, but forgive me. I have not introduced myself. I am Snorri, scholar of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffelheim solid. It was luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared, or I too would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. The witch's name is Kristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes, a mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. The book was hidden away safely in the Royal Library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. Having learned this, I tried to go and see the book for myself. Alas, the library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. Oh, hello. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. Put a sock in it, Snorri! <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point, then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. It is high on a plateau to the east of here, but we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we?
beautiful.
This should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunts the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Hmm. A rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Uh, how can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. Is this true? But why would Her Majesty say such a thing? Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when we first met her? The 
this? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the witch was sealed away in? What if... Sniffleheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot. Bye. 